Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today I am in my BMW 130i with the N52 engine. Now it would appear that I have developed the infamous engine tick. And today I just thought it would be a good opportunity to talk about why this ticking occurs on the N52 engine and how to fix it for free. Yes, for free. No fluids needed, no engine rebuild needed. You can fix it for free. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Now, if you don't already know what the ticking noise is and where it comes from, it comes from the top of the engine and it is from the hydraulic lifters. And just to make sure that you have the same issue that I am experiencing. Let's get outside, let's pop the bonnet and let's fire the engine up and take a listen. So as you guys heard, that is the infamous BMW N52 ticking noise. Now I just wanna say that this noise is not harmful to your engine in any way. The biggest problem with it is it's just annoying. Like it's just annoying to start your engine up and to have it ticking away like it does. Now the reason that these hydraulic lifters actually make this ticking noise then is because the oil essentially is too thick. Now this could be because you have put too thick of a oil in your engine, or it could just be that it is a little bit cold out. So you will typically notice the ticking the most when it is cold out and when you start the engine from cold. Now, as soon as your engine gets to operating temperature, you should, you should notice this ticking pretty much disappear. Okay, so you may be wondering then, right, so I just have to live with this annoying engine tick while my engine is cold, and then once it reach, reaches operating temperature, it'll go away. Now, here's the thing. If you only drive your car on short journeys, and you only just about reach operating temperature, and you only drive in the low RPMs, there is a good chance that this ticking noise will stay forever. These engines need to be taken for long trips every once in a while. They need to be revved out every once in a while. You typically get this ticking noise when you are only doing short trips around town and you are only keeping it in the low RPMs. These engines like to be revved out once they have reached operating temperature, of course. I don't want you revving out your engine when it is cold. Get your engine up to operating temperature and then rev it out every once in a while. Now I'm just gonna show you a quick little tip to get rid of the engine ticking temporarily. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine up again. And if you want to get rid of the ticking noise temporarily, what you can actually do is hold the RPMs up around 3000 RPM and this will actually bleed the oil from the hydraulic lifters. So if I step my foot on the accelerator, take it up to around 3000 RPM and hold it there for two to three minutes, this will thin out the oil and essentially drain the oil from the hydraulic lifters. Now, you may be wondering, but I can just do this when I'm driving. Yes, you can. But if you want to do this as a quick temporary fix, you can do this. This is a method you can use. And once I've done this for a few minutes, we'll actually head outside and take a look at the difference it makes. 
Take a listen to how much better that sounds. Now listen how much better that sounds. The ticking from the hydraulic lifters has pretty much completely gone. The only ticking you are experiencing now is from the injectors. But that sounds so much quieter and so much more livable with. Now if you want your engine sounding much better like this, then it is a good idea to take it on nice long drives every once in a while get the rpms right up there and take it for a nice spirited drive now then like i said you can use the temporary method of keeping the revs at around three to four thousand for a good few minutes but that is only a temporary fix if you want to remove the annoying n52 engine ticking noise completely you have to take it for regular long drives get the engine up to operating temperature and use the whole of the rev range on a regular basis these engines do not like driving on short journeys and keeping the rev range you know below 2000 they like to be revved out every once in a while to keep things running nice and smoothly I hope this video has been helpful. I hope you have learned something. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a like. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you have not already done so because I've got so many more videos to come on this car and on this engine in particular. So stay tuned for them and I'll see you in that next one. Peace.